Wow, um, this film was so inspirational. I felt like I was watching a true story and there were moments when it felt like it was actually just being recorded as it was happening. I thought kudos to the writing and the performers for giving such a natural, genuine performance. Um, I mean, there was a church scene that I just keep thinking of where the woman stands up and she offers to bring those Miller kids into her home. That felt so real. She Kudos to the actress. She did an amazing job with that part. Um, everybody was so good, especially the main characters. Um, I was on a ride. I, I didn't want it to end. I was just feeling all the feels, all the emotions um, when he won and he just owned that moment, the performer so owned it and I wanted to get up and scream for him. It was so great, so satisfying, um, such beautiful landscapes uh, and cinematography, the lighting, it just, it felt like it was based on a true story. It felt, you know, at first I was like, oh wow, it's two hours, it's gonna t feel like two hours. It did not feel like two hours. It went by really fast and I actually didn't want it to end as I said and um, just superb cast to and everything about it. There was one thing that if I'm going to be nitpicky for some reason just didn't quite nail it for me which is the mom and the kids relationship. There was just something about it. It might have been purposeful because again the characters weren't over the top. So it's not like she was falling down drunk. She wasn't shooting up drugs. She wasn't having sex with all these guys but there was just something that didn't hit home as far as when she disappeared. Um, I kind of wanted to see more of a, a, a reason that that could have happened. I hope that makes sense because I'm being very nitpicky here. That was, I really think this is an award-winning film. So I just want to say that, um, obviously this is going to be out there. It just, it looks like, I felt like I was watching it on Amazon or another platform like that, or even in the theater. I was sitting there with my popcorn lights off you know, feeling all the fields, the directing was on point, just everything was technically really well done, great production value. I just, really there was just that one thing. I just felt like for some reason the dynamic with the parent and the children, there was something that didn't quite work um, as far as all of a sudden she's gone. I mean, that does happen. So I guess maybe that was purposeful. There was just something there that wasn't quite hitting the mark for me. Um, and other than that, there was just one thing when the main character decided to end the deal with the banker guy whose son was on the wrestling team and was sort of the bully. Um, it was like there was a scene missing because he just ran in and, and you know, um, ended the deal really quickly. There was something that seemed like it was missing there, but honestly... Overall, like I said, I think this is an award-winning film. It should be seen. I wanted to recommend it to all my friends, but I didn't, you know, I couldn't do it yet. As soon as this is out, I'm going to totally recommend this. Very inspirational. Very well done. Felt like a true story. It might be. Um, just great job all the way around. Thank you for sharing. Um, and it was a really, really nice story of redemption for both of them. Um, because we see kind of the things that lead to the decisions that they've made and it also um showed how the community came together and it ended up being kind of a really a refreshing story of triumph of the people who worked hard and you know deserved to have peace and healing in their life actually get that and so that was really nice. The cinematography was um, great. The landscapes were really beautifully shot. And it was a really, it was really heartwarming. I um, enjoyed it. And I highly recommend. The Withrows do a wonderful job of writing, directing, uh, the, the um, 
actors all do well. A special uh, mention should be made of the beautiful cinematography of the Pacific Northwest. I was particularly struck for that by that uh, myself coming from British Columbia, which looks much the same, at least in the interior. It is a movie that may not appeal to everyone, but for those who, who are, lo are looking for a movie like this that makes them feel better, uh, and with a bit of redemption and uh, learning a little more about the sport, this, 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 this is a very worthwhile film. The Last Champion was very much um, a phenomenal film. It was very professionally made, uh, very high quality. I could see this uh, playing in theaters, and I have to commend just uh, the acting, the cinematography. Everything was done very, very well. Um, it was very much a uh, rags to riches story, also uh, uses a lot of like the fall from grace elements of a, a disowned uh, figure uh, having a redemption arc and all in all it was very much um, a very well crafted sports story and I very much enjoyed it. This is a high quality film with nice storytelling and several storylines helping us understand how people can overcome obstacles through being resilient and also getting help from their community. It is a nice, romantic, easygoing and very intentional messaging going on between the different stories and how people react to what's happening to them. It is just cute and very natural. It feels like real stories and it just gets to you to see how the different elements interact. It was just, I, th I really liked it. It, it was a lots of learning and yeah, uh, the characters did a, an amazing performance. Also the music. It's put together very well and nicely, the scenery, this r rural community in the United States. It's just an, an excellent job. Right off the bat, giving us that beautiful scenery really set the tone for at least the beauty of where they are um, with the mountains and all that. And then the second it was announced that he had his medal revoked, it was snow and we lost that beauty. And then again, setting the tone for the sadness that was about to play out for um, the majority of John's re-entry into his town. Um, I think some standout actors were um, Michael's family, primarily his mother and his sister, um, both very authentic and believable to the roles that they were portraying. Um, if you are hateable, you're doing a very good job of being hateable, and I think the mother did a great job of that. Um, the scenes that stuck out to me were the actual fight scene in the darkness. I think that was a great way to do it because it wasn't like hitting you with the graphicness of it, although the cleanup scene did later, but it, it being in the shadows was just mysterious enough, but you knew who it was and it was haunting. Um, Right before the mom left, um, her noticing the ring and the shoes of the other woman and showing that jealousy and the motivation of why she would leave. It was such a subtle moment, but I really, really loved that. Um, and then the scene where she does leave and it's it's Michael and his sister in the kitchen, like that was heart-wrenching to watch. It was very well done by the both of them. And the final scene that stuck out was the packing scene between Elizabeth and John. Her dialogue in that just felt so natural and the way that they bounced off of each other it just it, I literally felt like I opened a window and was peeking into two people packing um I'm very over time but it was a, it was a long one this one <laughs> The Last Champion is a film about forgiveness it's a film about living in grace and granting people grace it's a film about second chances and being able to find your purpose in life after you've thought that you've messed everything up after you think that you've made the biggest mistake of your life and you'll never be the same. 
It's a film about finding that redemption again afterwards and and helping people who have also made similar mistakes. I thought it did a really good job of portraying how powerful forgiveness can be and how powerful it is when you grant someone grace and allow them to move forward with their life. Um, I also, on a different note, they did an excellent job with all the wrestling sequences, especially at the end, the huge climax. I personally am not someone who watches wrestling, but I, I felt that I was watching it in real time, especially the last, the last championship when they are battling it out in, in continuous overtime. I was extremely invested in that. Everything felt very authentic. So I th they did an excellent job with that. And of course, the the resolution, the winning at the end, just brought out all those emotions. I thought it left on an awesome high note, very heartwarming. And yes, so that was very well done as well. And the chemistry between the actors was also excellent. I really felt for John and his relief when he is forgiven, his shame coming into the town. Everything was portrayed excellently by the main actor, and the the main the main theme really came across in this film.